got Jesus on my mind Seems he's with me all the time Think I'll have some bread and wine Yes, I've got Jesus on my mind Hi folks, this is a Pete Rose Show. We're going to be coming here on WVVC TV 40, and we're going to have a lot of interesting shows. We're going to have preachers, we're going to have singers, we're going to have songwriters, we're going to have people who have, who have walked with the Lord and stories that you just won't believe. And uh, we look forward to doing this and coming to you on a regular weekly basis, and we do hope that you do enjoy what we're going to be doing because we love doing it, I tell you. And right now, I have a couple of guests here. I have my friend Donna Mux from Snow Country, right? Yeah. Up in Forestport. Yep. And our friend Mike Wool Heater. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Great. Yeah, How are you? Good, good. good. Uh, I got to ask the very first question. Mm -hmm. How'd you guys get together? Well, you want me to start? Or do you want to start? <laughs> well, it was, it was uh, probably 10 years. 12 years ago. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, the Bluegrassers, Mohawk Valley Bluegrass Association, is that right? Yep. Uh, used to have the Thursday night bluegrass jams. And they were open to anyone, any abilities, and you could sing or play an instrument. And uh, I started going to those, and Donna started going to those, and that's where we met for the first time. And, uh, and neither of us were bluegrassers. Yeah, neither one of us are blue. I, I was just gonna say that. Yeah. But it was a, a place to play music, mm -hmm. that was close to home, and. Uh, and wonderful people. Wonderful people, you can't beat the people, and. Uh, and it wasn't just bluegrass music; it was uh, folky and country and a little bit of everything, but mainly bluegrass, you know. But uh, yeah. we've learned a lot there, and and uh, yeah, that's how. Yeah. What got it started? Yeah. And uh, then Donna sang uh, "Angel from Montgomery" was the first song I heard her sing. And because uh, you're in a you're in a circle and you take turns to go around the circle. You know? A circle around singing, yeah. <clears throat> singing, yeah. Right. And uh, when it was her turn, she sang "Angel from Montgomery," and she gave me a break on it. And we're like, "Wow, that sounded pretty good." So we kind of became friends. And then. Uh, Fast forward a few years, I think about seven years ago, I was doing, uh, doing a, I was playing at a Relay for Life, mm -hmm. and I asked her if she wanted to play, go on with me, you know, and uh, she did, and then a couple months later, she had a gig down in Remsen, and they asked me to sit in on a few songs, and I did, and that kind of, just kind of slowed One, one thing led to another. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, I tell you what I want to do. I want to start out with you guys singing uh, the first song here of uh, "Give Give Me Jesus." But uh, could you tell me tell me uh, before we start the song a little bit about why you picked that song? Why Why yeah, you like that song? Donna's doing Did you that. write that? I didn't write it. No, <laughs> no. It's a it's an old gospel tune that I um, I heard a couple three months ago, whatever. And I just thought it was beautiful in its, it's simplicity. And the message, I really like the message. So I've been working on it on my own for some of my I'll own gigs. I have to tell you, it sounds great. Thank really you. Does. Thank you. So I've been working on it a little bit, you know, on my own. And one day when we were thinking we were going to come here, I said to Mike, I said, why don't you listen to this song? I think it's one that you would like because it kind of leans towards the bluesy Yeah, it was just like last week or something. And, yeah, so last week at our practice, I said, what do you think of this? So we practiced it twice and we did it today. So. Okay, let's hear this song. <laughs> And it's called again. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Amen. In the morning, when I rise in the morning, when I rise in the morning, when I rise. Give me Jesus, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, 
you can have all this world just give me Jesus when I am alone when I am alone when I am alone just give me Jesus give me Jesus give me Jesus you can have this world just give me Jesus When I come to die When I come to die Just give me Jesus Give me Jesus Give me Jesus You can have this world just give me Jesus yes you can have all this world just give me What a great song that was. I tell you, just so clean, so smooth. And uh, it, I got to compliment you guys. It really is, it was really nice. It really Thank was you. nice, you know? Thank you. So, now, uh, Donna, let, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as your singing is concerned, you haven't been singing a long time, have you? I mean, you, you used to teach school, right? Yes, I was a teacher. So well, how'd you go from teaching math, <laughs> becoming a, a uh, a, a, you know, a, a, a vocalist and a songwriter and an well, author and all that other. Well, I started as an engineer, but that's a story for another day. Then yeah, I, you're, I forgot, teacher. you're smart. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, you got brains. You're really, you're really smart girl. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, um, I actually lost my job as a teacher. They were doing some downsizing and I was okay. a part-time teacher. So it was easy to cut somebody who was part-time. And um, I picked up a guitar one day. I had never played before. Um, and I picked up a guitar and then I went to a workshop and learned a few chords and um, was at this workshop, it was a weekend workshop, and I stood on a bridge and said a prayer. And I said a prayer for just bringing me to that place. It was a really great experience. I was learning a lot and it was, it was neat. And I used to write poems and then as I stood on that bridge and said a prayer, a song came to me. And um, that's called angelic writing. Uh, it it was definitely a, a little angel kiss, yeah. and we could talk about that another day too, maybe. But yes. but I um, yeah, uh, God said, I think what I want you to do now is is write songs and sing and get out there. So I picked up a guitar and started writing, and here we are, well, you, two you, CDs later. You uh, 
<laughs> you uh, you do a nice job. You really do. Thank you. And uh, thank you. It, it's nice to have you be able to come on our show and uh, do your song first. Oh, thank you. I'm now, so happy now, to be here. How long have you been playing that mic? Uh, really, probably. I mean, really, yeah, you know. Well, I started. I got my first harmonic. This is a kind of an interesting story, I think. <laughs> sure, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, it is. When I was nine years old, this is back in the mid '60s. Um, the the westerns were popular on TV, right? Yeah. I used to love westerns. I always wanted to be a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I used to see the cowboys out at night, you know, keeping their uh, herd calm and everything. They would play a harmonica. You know, and I always I liked the sound of it. So. I got my first harmonica, um, I mean I couldn't afford one, but I got my first harmonica with a book of s &H green stamps. <laughs> yeah, I remember those. Remember those? I certainly do. And I, um, of course I played it and wore it out and then I never got another one. Now this was when I was nine, ten years old, until I was in the Navy. Back in, well, I was in the Navy in 73, 73. It was around 74, maybe, and I was out at sea, and there was a guy that had one that I knew. So at least 10 years in between. Right? Yeah, so then I started playing that, playing uh, the first song that I really learned how to play was a Billy Joel song called Piano Man. It has Ooh. a harmonic part in it. Yeah. And um, after that, every port we would pull into, the first place I would look for was the local music store. Yeah. And I would go and buy another harmonica, and, and I, you know, got a collection of them. So you're self-taught, in other words. Yes, I've never had. You've got a very good ear for your for what you're performing. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and that's all I've really been was a harmonica player for the past forty, was it forty something years. And, uh, Showing your age. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, but I never really sang much until just recently when I hooked up with Donna. Yeah. And she I brought think the best. She brought the best out of you, did she? I think so. And uh, <laughs> and harmonicas and guitars go together like you know, yeah. grilled peanut cheese sandwich and, and peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches, but but uh, yeah, harmonica and guitars go together very well, and uh, so we. It's kind of unique. Uh, we don't know a lot of duets around here that have that arrangement. Well, Donna being a uh, a folk singer is what I label you as a folk yeah. singer, yeah. Um, and going with what you're playing, they go together. Mm -hmm. They go together. Yeah. yeah. They they, uh, one complements the other. It really does. And we have our own versions of things <laughs> that you know well, we do sure. covers, but especially uh, with her. We do things well, our own way. Both of us, really. Yeah. yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun to come up with arrangements, you know, because neither of us is really musically trained. It's yeah. really all mostly self-taught. You know, I did some guitar lessons, but most of it's self-taught. So we come up with things that are different than a lot of other people do because of that. Yeah. It's kind of cool. And another neat thing is him being a harmonica player, I think, lends it lends to the harmony singing because he's really good at harmony and, and I'm not so good at that so I like that backup. It's kind of cool but I think that harmonica ear helps with that. Hey, and, and you're right on with it too. I mean you mm -hmm. are. You're right on with it. Thank mm -hmm. you. So, so how many uh, uh, how many harmonicas do you have? <laughs> well uh, according to my wife more than I need. <laughs> uh, it's like asking a guitar player you know you have to tell the guitar player you have too many guitars. Uh, mm -hmm. I have, I carry, well, I have uh, diatonics, I have a chromatic, uh, and a couple of uh, what they call um, tremolo harmonicas. They sound kind of like an organ, kind of like a, a squeeze box accordion. Um, but I, I don't know, I have maybe 15 that I carry with me. Are you on any of Donna's re recordings? No. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Yeah. So I, I guess you're planning a new project, though? With a new CD? I've got a couple of possibilities in the works, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm writing, you know, I've got a few new songs that, that I would like to get on a CD, and I'm writing some songs 
um, with a friend who lives just north of New York City. We're writing some kids' nature songs. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. Yeah, so we're trying to finish those up. That's been a project in the works for at least two years now, um, and we're hoping to maybe wrap that up this winter. I used to work with a guy who, his, one of his goals was to, he couldn't sing or play music, but, but he could draw. Mm -hmm. And he, he'd draw pictures, and then he'd write, write stories with the pictures. Oh, neat. He's going to do a book. I don't know if he ever finished finish it or not. Neat. Kind of neat, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Very cool. Uh, Pictures are worth a thousand, a thousand words. Amen. They say. We, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, uh, uh, a quick story if you don't mind. I, I, I was down in a, in a cold city of Utica on Sunday, mm -hmm. and uh, graciously the St. Joe St. Pat's brought me down. And this young man came up to me and he said to me, "I would like to see my pictures." I'm looking at him, you know, and everything, and uh, outstanding hand drawing, you know. And I said, are you self-taught? He goes, yeah. I said, you try to sell it? He goes, not, I've had no success. Mm -hmm. However, he said to me, he said to me, this has nothing to do with, has nothing to do with the show, but I want to tell you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he said to me, uh, are you aware of the quarterback uh, who played for the world champion, you know, college champions? I go, no, I don't, I think it's Carson, him was Carson something, Roberts or something like that. Mm. He said, well, I knew somebody at Clemson, and I sent him the picture. And he was so amazed that I drew his picture that he sent me his jersey from college. Really? Neat. Yeah, so sometimes, sometimes the nice, nicest comes out in strangers more than they do with, in, you know, mm -hmm. with people you know sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so I, well, you know what I'd like to do? What I'd like to do, because I didn't, do not want to cut you guys short on your talent here. So um, uh, tell me a little about why you picked, before we get into this, why did you uh, pick Wayfaring Stranger? Why, is, why did you guys do that song? I think it's oh. just a, a really cool song. Okay. And if we want to tie it back to our bluegrass things, <laughs> there was a couple of guys in our bluegrass circle who used to play harmonica. That was their main thing. They'd play harmonica and they'd sing. Um, Bill Smith, I'm not sure if you don't know if you no. know Bill Smith and um, Paul I'm Temple. I'm not familiar with any of those gentlemen. Okay. Well, Bill Smith and Paul Temple, they're two amazing guys. Um, and they would play this song and they would sing it. And, and I hadn't heard it in years. And the first time they did it, I went, ah, oh, it's just a cool song. I love songs in a minor key. And it's just a really cool song and every time I do it I think of them and, and Paul unfortunately passed from cancer a few years ago um, but wonderful so man so it still makes me smile that I knew him and I you know so he's I in other words you're a better and, you're a better person for it I am a better person okay. for knowing Paul okay so Wayfair and Stranger uh, is our, is our next song coming up
You know, I've noticed over the years, because I, fo I follow your music a little bit, you know, and it's hard to follow everybody, but I've always liked your music. <laughs> you. Uh, you play in different kind of different venues that aren't, that aren't connected to other venues. Like you play in a, maybe like a, like a hall, then you play in a church, and mm -hmm. then you play out, out in the field, you know, so mm -hmm. to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you fit in with, with, with these different places? Do, 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 you, do you like more singing the Christian stuff or? The folk stuff, or is the mixing it up, is what you are. Yeah. Yeah. I've always been mixed up. No. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I yeah, could have, I could have told you that earlier, but I, you know, I, I, I don't want to get you mad at me. You know, she's been mixed up for a while, but that, that, that's another story. <laughs> that is another story. Um, now, there's, I mean, if you think about it, there's just so much incredible good music out there. Oh, yes, there is. So, you know, it's it's fun to do all different kinds of music. Yes, I love my Christian music. You know, I love the worship stuff. Um, I do enjoy singing at churches and doing a mix, you know, doing some of the old gospel. Um, and then sometimes just doing, you know, mainstream or popular songs. And there's always a way to tie into a Christian message or to a good message, you know, no matter what the song is, really. Um, I just love music. There are very few kinds of music that I don't like. I'm not going to tell you what they are because I don't want to offend anyone. <laughs> I don't want you, anybody you, to turn the TV You never liked me but, either, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's very, very few things that I don't like to listen to. There's just so much good music out yeah. there that, you know, it's, it's tough to limit yourself. You know, you don't want to be just one area or whatever. But there's also a thing about Christian music that I, I read a long time ago. Somebody said, you know, like you have pop, and you have blues, and you have rap. Those are styles of music. But Christian music isn't a style of music. Because you can have rock, and you can have pop, and you can have rap in Christian music. It's more the content of what the music is. So Christian music crosses almost everything. I, uh, 
I label myself as country gospel and Americana because I do yes. all three. Yep. And uh, I, I won't mention any names, but this one preacher, <laughs> one preacher said to me, "You can't come and sing in my church. Uh, uh, you, you're you're too radical." So my friend Bobby Schaefer, when he was alive, looked at him and said, "Who is more radical than Jesus Christ?" Hmm. And that's who Amen. he's sing, and that's who he's singing about. So it's funny how sometimes how people people can judge you right away. You know, mm -hmm. it's funny like that. But yeah. it's how the world go, how the world turns. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, if turns. somebody says, "Hey, will you come and sing?" In general, our answer is yes. Or if yeah. I'm solo, my answer is yes. We'll you know? sing anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Parking lots. We don't care. <laughs> Open mics are a great place too. I love open mics. Again, you mentioned earlier the talent. There's so much talent in this area. You go to an open mic and it's amazing. There is so much talent, and the thing thing about it is, is that uh, some of these folks are working so hard on their music, hoping to get something done, mm -hmm. hoping to get a break, so on and so forth. And it's funny because if as a writer, I could I'm a writer. Mm -hmm. uh, I only have I only have two cuts. Mm -hmm. And b both cuts are on, I don't want anyone around me. I have a girl who cut it and a guy who cut it. One in Nashville, one in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. and, and to me, it, it was cool. Yeah. It was cool, you know? Sure. And uh, so I talked to a guy uh, last night in Nashville. I said, what about, we'll mention names again, what about so-and-so? You better stay away from him, he goes. So, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you got to reach out before you dive in mm -hmm. to find out what you're getting into. That's Not everybody honest. has the best intention to music mm -hmm. no you know, they're not and uh, unfortunately unfortunately that's how it is mm -hmm. so it is. it's how it is so uh you also work with center point church don't you i do what what is your role there um, a little of this and a little of that <laughs> i do some singing with the worship band um i do some special songs um, you know, sometimes my songs or other songs for special occasions. Um, I work with youth there. I do lots of different things there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of different titles, right? Yeah, a lot of yeah. different titles. Oh, Pastor Wayne Super. Yes. There's just no way around it. You know, he is. he's yeah. one of the uh, one of the nicest people I've ever I've ever met. You know, and yeah. uh, uh, he's been awful nice to me. I can tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. it's a great it, church family. Oh yeah. It is. Oh yeah. Right. Now we have Sunday night service too. Yeah, we've got the youth service Sunday nights now. Which is amazing. Yep. Yeah, I, I think the youth need something like that. They do. They need a place to go. They you know, do. years ago, yeah. we could go to the pool, pool hall mm -hmm. and not worry about getting in trouble. Right. right. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It was oh, different, yeah. you know. It and was. you'd listen to the stories of the old guys talking, wow, listen to that, you know. Yeah. And a lot of it was, a lot of it was, you know, embellished, you can yeah. tell you. Like, <laughs> that court of fish was really that, you know, yeah. that big, was this big, mm -hmm. you know. But just, well, you know, you you, uh, you uh, remember that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I grew up with the hobos. Mm -hmm. That's why I, wrote, I did my train album. They used to come to our house, wow. knock on a door. Can you give us a meal? My mom would say, Yeah. Well, what what work can we do for it? They'd mm -hmm. cut the grass, or they mow the lawn, or nice. or, or they do you know they do whatever they could. Then they would eat. Mm -hmm. And we got a tree across the road with a notch in it. That notch told them they could get a meal at our house. Wow. And they put it in themselves. We didn't. But they whole, the hobos had their own way of communicating, mm -hmm. and it was safe. You did not have to worry. Nice. It was very safe years ago. Very and cool. uh, and uh, those kind of memories, I, and that's why I did, do what I do with my, with my songs, you know. Sure. And I try, to, I try to bring the memories to make sense, you know, and sometimes it doesn't come out in a song that makes any sense, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> it probably makes sense to them and to you, just yeah. maybe not. To Nobody everybody. else. <laughs> but that's okay. You're writing it for them. Yeah. So. Do, do you do any 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 writing, Mike? Do you do any writing at all? No. No. Not really. Uh, I've, a couple instrumentals. I yeah, and I've made up songs that I've never really written down. You know, I guess you can create a song without writing it on paper. Mm -hmm. Um. That way, I could sing it different every time. <laughs> and. Yep. But yeah, nothing. I have. I've never published any. My daughter's the writer in my family. Oh too. really? Oh yeah. Not a songwriter, but uh, a writer. You mm -hmm. know. And um, you know, with the blogs and. Yeah, she's got a know. really cool blog. Yeah. But she's the writer, and uh, I've always encouraged her writing stuff. But I've I've never penned a song. 
Well, you sound good. You really do. I, I'm I'm basically a harmonica player, and I'll play anything with anyone. And and, and with her, she points you in the right direction. You just keep on going. She keeps me. Yeah, she keeps, <laughs> it just works with us. I mean, we're kind of two different people, but we have that in common. Yeah. 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 And he's he's a great just pick up. Like, we went to an open mic the other night, and this guy said, Mike, I'd like you to play with me on this song. He's never heard the song before. Yeah. And he went up there and he killed it. It was like, <laughs> and the guy's like, wow, you know? And he's always got a harmonica in his pocket if he goes to see a band, you know? <laughs> he's not shy. <laughs> no harmonica. Harmonica. They're very portable instruments. Yep. Yeah, they are. A lot easier to carry around than guitar, piano. And pianos <laughs> are tough to carry. A little bit. A little bit. Yep. Yeah, they are. <laughs> okay, course, you know, you know, mind. you are also branching out in the coming. You're an author too, aren't you? I am. I am. How did you get involved in that? Um, I got involved in that because um, my dog got sick. My dog got cancer, and being a writer, I was kind of sitting there oh. and I was kind of journaling and writing what we were going through, and one day I went. I think that might be a good book to help kids who are battling cancer. So, I so you write kids, kid, kid books? Kids books, yes. And this, the second one is this close to going to print. So I'd fit in very well with it then. You would love that. <laughs> the first one was called Good Days Are For Walking, and the second one will be called Good Days Are For Smiling. So, And it's about our current dog. She's not sick, but it's about our current dog who always looks like she's smiling. Now, you right? must get <laughs> yeah. support from your family yeah. and, and, and because you know you're all over the place mm -hmm. so you must get support about go ahead Donna you do what you got to do you know and mm -hmm. that's nice because without the support of the family you can't do a thing you got that right yeah we both, we're both fortunate that you know yeah, yeah. Our, my wife and her husband I mean they know each other too and yep. we've gone out to dinner and stuff like that mm -hmm. and uh, yeah they're really cool with it. They yeah because without that <laughs> without that kind of cooperation and whatever you know because you got to practice, you got to prepare, exactly. you know, you know, yeah. someone and so forth. So, yeah. it's mm -hmm. it's really, really, really nice to be able to have that kind of support. It is. So very blessed. You know, I want to go to another song, but okay. before we do that, uh, this train. Well, that's another one. <clears throat> this I'll train. let you talk about this one. This train. For one thing, it's a train song. You know, I I I kind of <laughs> I, I kind of thought that. When you started, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> got a harmonica player. You got to have a train song. And harmonicas, harmonicas, and train songs. You know, go together like tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I've just always, because I can play it different. I can put a lot into it. I've never been like with music. I've never been a lyrical person really mm -hmm. to me I could when I listen to a song a lot of times somebody performing a song I listen to the background you can the play different, different ways each time you play yeah and I listen to the instruments a lot right. I mean and as, the, as far as the singer in, in a band a lot of times I look at his voice as an instrument and I don't really pay attention to, to lyrics that much that's why when I started singing I was terrible at remembering lyrics. Do you pay attention to her at all? Huh? Do you pay attention to her at all? Yeah. yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> sometimes. He said sometimes. You heard that, right? But uh, but but I was I I was really I always struggled with the uh, lyrics when I'm when I'm like I'm having one little oops today. But uh, well, it it sounded yeah. really good, and I'm sure the audience is going to like it. Because I yeah I don't like reading reading it. I try to remember it, and I. You know, think you have it, and then <laughs> Oops. send it out. But that's live, live music. Exactly. I'll tell you a story about exactly. that when we come back. Okay, it's called this train.
this train is bound for glory, this train. Well, this train don't pull no gamblers, this train. This train don't pull no gamblers, this train. Well, this train don't pull no gamblers, no mag sliders or midnight ramblers, this train. tell you uh, this has been great having you guys on this show and uh, uh, meeting you for the first time you know you don't know the things you said about you before but we won't go into that <laughs> my ears have been ringing <laughs> no she always speak very 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 highly of her especially when she's top of, on top of a ladder you know so but anyway uh, <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure for us this is yeah. this has been really cool yeah a lot of fun uh, Writing songs and writing books and recording songs and writing poems, you've been blessed with a lot of talent. Thank you. And Thank if you. you don't use the talent, you lose it. Mm -hmm. And what you've done is expanded your talent, use it even more. Mm -hmm. And to be received by people like you are, it's 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 kind of make you feel good. It does. It makes me feel very blessed. Yeah, and uh, and of course, it's all in God's timing and God's will. You got that right. And without it, 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 it none, <laughs> nothing works without it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm And, uh, and uh, uh, if you would have told me ten years ago that I'd be singing and writing songs and writing books, I would have laughed at you. Well, I tried to tell you, you wouldn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you then. <laughs> but yeah, when God puts you on a path, sometimes you just He gives you the courage. He puts you on the path, and it's. It's amazing. If you oh, go with the flow, it's a lot of fun. You know, it's funny because it's it's funny because God God knows before you know, and all of a sudden it hits you. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it's He's in charge of all, at all times, and that's mm -hmm. put Christ first, and you got to make. That's Amen. how I look at it. You know what I'm Amen. saying? So I agree. Uh, I, agree. I let me ask you a little question here, Mike. Uh, you you are you guys both go to the same church? Mm -hmm. You go to Center Point? No, I'm, I was raised Catholic. Well, that's what and I am. I'm, I'm yeah. still Catholic, so yeah. I go to, I'm affiliated with Holy Trinity Church in Utica. Oh, you do? <coughs> oh, that's our sister church. I go to St. Joe, St. Pat's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember when St. Pat's was on the, across from St. Joe's, remember that? 
Yeah, no, now I, it's, I, I wasn't here then. Now it's the Irish uh, Center. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the new Irish yeah, Center is yeah, built in. Yeah, there. yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, I have a lot of a uh, lot of uh, belief in my faith. It's kept me from going the wrong way many times, <laughs> and uh, I thank God for that because you can get yourself in a whole lot of trouble mm -hmm. if you don't do what's right. What's right. Mm -hmm. And it's very clear what is right. <clears throat> Those Ten Commandments. <laughs> you stick by them, you're in good shape. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, I, and I love to pick on the priest too. I pick on him all the time. <laughs> Who don't you pick on? Myself. Oh, I bet in those conversations with yourself, you probably pick don't. On yourself you're listening too. in on my conversation. <laughs> I heard that about you. So, anyway, I would like to say that uh, that. Uh, you guys playing your music together and coming over here together, it's, it's a blessing for us. It really is. Especially our first show. Well, the pleasure is ours, I'm sure. And, it's an uh, honor. And, uh, and uh, I, I wanted to have to start it out, I wanted to start it out right. And, and, and I, I feel I have Good. with you guys. So Good. it means a lot to me. What I'd like to do, what I'd like to do to so make sure I have the time, is play The New Normal. That is my favorite. Donna Muck song, and a lot of people's favorite Donna Muck song. So. My favorite Donna Muck song too. <laughs> and uh, and to tell you the truth, it's my favorite. Song. It's, and so the new normal is the song I'd like to play next. So let's go to that song. the demons Through long dark sleepless nights But they no longer haunt me Today I finally won the fight Is now returned to me. Together we've decided that I am not my injury.
today is the day I am accepting the challenge of learning to live in a new way because now I understand there is life after change Some things will be different Oh, but difference not bad It's only different It's only different mm -hmm. Today I begin my new normal Well, I tell you, it's been a great show, and uh, I want you to know that uh, that the music that you've sang today, uh, especially that last song, The New Normal, which is my favorite Donna Monk song, I'm sure people will like it. And who knows? I mean, who knows who you've touched, both of these. You know, because if you do touch one person, one person, heart with Christ through the things you did, and I know what your songs are about the Lord, and I understand all that, but you've got to have a variety. But what you did, ones that you did that were like that, uh, you touch one person, you've had a successful show. Mm -hmm. And that's how you have to look at it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly how you have to look at it. Look at it any other way, I think it's wrong. In my opinion, it's wrong, but that's, that's just my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. so. Well, it's uh, time, almost time now for uh, say goodbye. And uh, uh, I'd like you to take, take, a few, take a few minutes, and we'll, we'll leave... Uh, We'll leave the boss for last. And you could say something, say goodbye to the folks. And well, thanks for this opportunity. And uh, this is my first time doing anything like this. <laughs> and uh, it was it was a ball. It was, well, it was you, did a, you did a great You're job. A great host. And uh, it was fun doing this with Donna. This is another thing we can, <laughs> another bond we have that we've done something together. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, it was all good. Yep. Yep. What do you think there, Kate? I just want to thank you so much. I love working with you. I love doing things with you. And I just want to thank you and the guys at the station. This has been awesome. I Looking forward to doing it again. I, I, I really do appreciate you saying that. Thank you. It, mean, it means a lot to me. You know, People who appreciate any, what people do is important. You know what I'm it saying? Is. It mm -hmm. really is important. So. Yeah. Definitely. Well, folks, it's almost time for me to say goodbye here. You know, it's, uh, it's been great. And uh, I want you to know that uh, we'll be back. We'll be back next week. And we'll be back next week to be able to be with you again one more time.